So we got a, uh, a 9 turn 4370, the 540 can brushless system in here. It's the one I had in the amp. <clears throat> I swapped systems. So this system that came stocks in the amp, and then the amp system I had in there is in this. It's the 4370 KV, and it's a <clears throat> 10BL50 Hobby Wing brushless ESC. And it's running um, 21 tooth pinion. Uh, stock came with a 20 tooth pinion, so it's not geared up too much. But this is a 3S run. I just want to see how it handles real quick. And I'll go take it out to a, <clears throat> a field. Seems real good, real good in this. Got a lot of throttle control now. Um, that other uh, setup was actually better because it was a 540 15 turn and not the 550 15 turns that I have in my others. Like my, uh, <clears throat> my other Ruckus has got the 550. 15 turn dynamite motor. Oh, got it. And uh, the Ruckus does too, I'm pretty sure. The difference though, the Ruckus has got the uh, 40 amp dynamite ESC, and my other uh, ECX uh, Torment's got the 60 amp. But they run a 550 15 turn. And so this one was faster, stock out of the box. And I was wondering why. And so when I did the swap, I checked the numbers. I looked at the can and it's not a 550 can, it's a 540. So this one came stock with a 540 uh, 15 turn and 540s turn more RPM than a 550. So that's why this one had a little bit more top end and a little bit more top speed and just felt, just felt faster than my other Torment. <clears throat> so I'm not sure which model come with the 540 and which ones come with the 550 but this one came with the 540 and it was it was fun it was really fun uh so what i do with that though is i swap that motor and esc into the amp and so now you know the amp comes with a 20 turn 540 and now it's got a 15 turn 540 and then the amp comes with a 20 amp esc and now it's going to have a 60 amp esc so it's lowered five turns and added triple the amperage. And it's gonna run really good like that. It was overpowered. It was, oh, it, did. it was overpowered brushless. Um, if you go with like a 3000 or maybe a 3800 KV, then yeah. But um, what we got going on here? Lost throttle. I wonder if we're lipo cut off or what. I think we're lipo cut off. I don't have a. I only had one small lipo charge. Let's see what happens. It was only the 1500 M3S I had charged, so. Yeah, it wasn't warm. My ESC didn't feel hot. Anyway, so we might be able to run for a few more minutes, but uh, yeah. So the little amp's gonna run real good with that setup because this thing ran really decent with that setup and it's a lot heavier a lot bigger so in that amp I'll be able to run 2s and it's gonna be really quick and it's gonna handle right you know it's not gonna be overpowered and just flip every time you right when I say that I rolled that short course trucks roll but uh, the amp you know I couldn't really even gas it very much you know I couldn't uh, give it too much power Just wasn't fun. It wasn't fun brushless. Uh, unless you go with something smaller, like maybe a 3000 or 3300 running on 2S, it'd be probably fine. But with the 4370, it was too much. But in this, it's perfect. All right, guys. Peace.